guys, welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. And today we're keeping it short and sweet. We're making cauliflower all gratin, all gratin cauliflower. And um, this is so simple to make. I have several um, cauliflower recipes on my channel already that I think you're gonna absolutely love. Um, and this one is just, it's so easy to make and it's so delicious. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. What I've already done is I've taken my cauliflower and I cut it to the desired um, size that I like. It doesn't really matter because it's going to cook up anyway um, in the oven. And I take my cauliflower and I boil it in a water just enough to cover the top of it um, or chicken stock. And if you don't have chicken stock, then I use um, water and I use the bouillon cubes. If you use like four cups of water, you, you go by the, the back of the directions of the bouillon cubes. And um, the reason I like to do bouillon cubes when I'm making this or cook my cauliflower in the chicken stock it's because cauliflower has a very um, pungent flavor and as much as I love it, I, I like to be able to taste the other things as well. So the cheese or anything else that I'm making um, the cauliflower with. And that kind of takes a little bit of that punginess of the cauliflower away, if you will. All right, let's go ahead and get down here and get started. Um, as you can see here, I've got my cauliflower already cooked. Um, I boiled this for um, about 10 to 15 minutes, about 15 minutes max. Pre-warning right now, my dogs are um, acting up. But what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of layer this. You're also going to use some butter. Um, in here I've got some Velveeta cheese, and then we're also going to use some uh, mild cheddar cheese. Um, and I'm also going to use some um, minced onion flakes and some pepper. I'm not going to add any additional salt because the cheese has lots of salt in it. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your cauliflower, and like I said, it doesn't really matter um, the size of it um, because it's, you know, when you cook it and then you push your um, serving utensils down into it, it's going to it's going to take it down smaller anyway. See how that head is a little bit um, bigger than the others, but it really doesn't matter, so don't stress over that. But we're going to do two layers here, so I just go ahead and put a layer on there, and then you're going to put just a couple little pats of butter right in there because everything's going to go right down in there and it's going to combine really well. Then you're also going to add some cheese, a couple little um, layers of cheese there. It does not have to be perfect. Just make sure the cheese is in there and the butter is in there because like I said, once it gets all nice and bubbly, it's going to combine really well. And then you're going to add some pepper. You know me, I like a lot of pepper going to add some onion flakes. Onion flakes give it just a wonderful, wonderful flavor. I add onion flakes to just about everything I cook. I'm not kidding. Look how, look how quick and easy this comes together. And if you're doing a low carb or keto diet, this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. And actually, um, that is why I'm making it, trying to get back on board again. But I've also um, got some like some beefy meatballs that I've made that are um, very low carb and it's going to go perfect with that. This is simple. This is all you do. Oh, left a piece in there. we got to use that. Cauliflower is expensive these days. Um, and then just go ahead and layer your cheese. Go ahead and stick your couple pats of butter on there. Like I said, it's all going to mix together really well. So no worrying about that. Oh, this is so good. I love cauliflower when it's cooked like this. Then we're gonna add um, some pepper there. Well, what happened to my pepper grinder? Got it too tight. All right, and then we're gonna add some more of the onion flakes. You know, add as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to you. And then we're gonna add some mild cheddar right on top. And this is gonna bake up perfectly. My daughter loves um, cheesy cauliflower. We all like it. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna use the rest of the bag. Now, if you want exact measurements, you know, I really, if you wanna use about a cup of the, a cup and a half of the um, 
mild cheddar, and then just you can just eyeball the um, the Velveeta cheese. I gotta grab some milk. We're gonna use a little bit of milk. It's gonna go right underneath there. Okay, we're and remember the water holds, um, or the water, the cauliflower holds quite a bit of water anyway. I kind of left it in my pan after I drained it. We're just going to put just a little bit of milk in there. And it's going to bake up perfectly. This is probably, um, that was probably about maybe close to half a cup. That's it. That's all you do. We're going to put this in a preheated oven at um, 400 degrees. And we're going to let this bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I'll let you know what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, I want you to look at my um, cauliflower au gratin. I have to hold it up there for you. Look at that. I am not cutting into this because this is what we're having for dinner tonight. I hope you can see it. You'll see it really well on the thumbnail. Um, it is absolutely amazing. It cooked in the oven on um, 400 for about 35 to 40 minutes. You are going to love this. You are absolutely going to love this. If you want to top it with just a little bit of... Um, sour cream i put some fresh green onions on top of mine for color and to add that little extra bite to it because i love like a cheesy um type oniony bite with my cauliflower or my potatoes so this is absolutely amazing i hope you like this recipe give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe um thank you for um putting up with me thank you for watching my videos thank you for commenting commenting and for all you new subscribers welcome to my kitchen you know i love you guys so very much and i'll see you next time bye